Hi, Elon Musk just posted or tweeted, uh, all design and engineering of the original Tesla Roadster is now fully open source. Whatever we have, you now have. Service Tesla.com slash Roadster. Okay, I thought we'd check it out. Do you? Uh, do we actually get everything? Because, you know, when you say you're releasing something as open source, doesn't mean you're actually releasing your complete bill of materials, all your supplier information, all your CAD files for absolutely everything. Or is it just... I don't know, service manuals and other uh, miscellaneous stuff. Um, anyway, let's find out. So um, <laughs> does this mean I can build my own Tesla in my garage? <laughs> Some assembly required. Okay, let's check it out, shall we? The Here's the link, um, the Tesla Roadster. So what have we got? We've got service manual, circuits, theory of operation for the Roadster vehicle, parts manual, that's interesting. Connectors, theory of operation for the battery. Uh, then you've just got all your owner's manuals. That's normal. Uh, toolbox uh, alert articles, whatever they are. Um, disclosed research and development documents. Information provided here is being provided as a courtesy to roaster enthusiasts and was created during the design phase of the roaster for research and development. It isn't manufacturer, a reference, or repair. Right. Okay. So you've got battery moni monitoring board. Uh, you've got the uh, HVAC system, which is like the the aircon uh, system, vehicle display system, and diagnostic software. Now, I did uh, open these. Now, the service manual took a while. It just sat there blank, but it did eventually open. So now we have the roads to service manual. Has this always been available, or is this new? I don't know, but it's, uh, hey, unfortunately, it's not like a PDF you can just download. I'm sure somebody will put it into a PDF, though. But it's available as a HTML thing. It's not formatted <laughs> very well, but like all the stuff, is here, exterior fittings, body, battery system, okay? Here's the battery, oh, battery assembly, vehicle battery assembly, vehicle isolation uh, procedure, and you can actually go to it here, and then you can like call up images, and yeah, so it's all a HTML, HTML thing, but it seems to be there. So this is how to, so for surfacing, this looks like really, absolutely terrific if you've got an original original roadster of course they don't make it anymore although they apparently they've like announced a new one or whatever but <laughs> whether that happens but look look right this is all this is all pretty schmick yeah look and they've got photos too so this all works very nicely awesome but, you know, uh, service manuals, okay, fantastic. But you've been able to get, you know, third-party service manuals at least uh, for cars and stuff like that. So when I was a boy, I had a service manual, service my own car. Um, we've got the electrical stuff, harnesses, vehicle management, airbags, instrument light panels, whoop, whoop, audio system, alarm. So let's go into, I don't know, vehicle management, vehicle management system. 1.5 or 2.0. So that's the vehicle management system and all that. But, like, you know, are we going to get like schematics and <laughs> schematics or bust, right? For open source, as they say. But anyway, you don't expect that in the service uh, manual because the service manual is just, you know, like swapping stuff to sort of like modular level. And that all seems to be there. So, you know, like in interior lamps, <laughs> trunk assembly. Do we get, yeah, you know, just, oh, that's pretty boring. There's the immobilizer, you know, switch pack, um, the, the horn. <laughs> there we go install but you know if you want to work on the battery here's how to isolate it and to do it uh, safety ensure that the multimeter and leads are capable of handling at least 500 volts do not use a probe with an exposed tip of greater than three millimeters so you know they've, they've gone to a quite a bit of effort there so the service manual seems to be legit so let's uh check the others because like they claim like circuits and parts manuals, okay? And theory of operation for the Roadster battery. Do we get that? Safety and handling instructions, safety during repairs. Once again, it's all HTML, but wah, 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 was not found on this server. Oops. Um, is that gonna be consistent throughout this? Yeah, yeah, it's not there. Oops. <laughs> special tools, what special tools do we need? Oh, look, there, there, production things sheet storage trolley once again like the the image is gone okay so it's broken so they've attempted to but somebody who implemented like putting it on the website just hasn't done the images properly maybe that'll get fixed but like uh, you're not going to get 
like all of their production information. It's not like somebody can go, oh, some, you know, a startup can go, oh, we can man remanufacture the roadster. We've got everything. Uh, I, no, <laughs> you're not going to get all their production tools. I mean, you know, let's let's go into uh, or, or parts catalog, right? Here's the parts catalog. Looks like you have to put your VIN in. Can we do a catalog product search? Tesla vehicles, yeah. Roadster, continue. Body panels, air duct in. <laughs> like it's wow. All the stuff's there. Can we actually go into that vehicle charging system? Oh, home charging station. Do we get anything on that? Let's go in there. Home charging station one. Assembly, oh, look. Okay. Wow. Oh, look, look, oh, look at this. Interactive, we can zoom in. This is great. Wow, that's pretty groovy, isn't it? I like that. So that's their home charging box. Did Tesla, uh, did the Roadster have its own, I guess it did, um, have its own charging box. And these are all the parts and part numbers. See, but that, that doesn't help you. Actually, it says sales restriction over the counter. Can you turn up to Tesla headquarters and say, I would like the, la the installation label, please, <laughs> for the electrical vehicle uh, service, uh, uh, service equipment. <laughs> That's pretty groovy. That seems to work. Yeah, we can just go back. And it's just, uh, right, stud balls, fuses, right? <laughs> 3AG glass fuse and stuff like that. Okay, but you know, like there's no extra information there. It doesn't tell you, you know, who the manufacturer is or, or a manufacturer's part number or something like that. It tells you a, like a Tesla part number, but not if it's just like a fuse. Tesla don't make fuses. Power electronics module. Let's go in here. Power electronics modules, internal. Internal is the power electronics module. Okay, yeah, there's the module. Okay, that's great, but yeah, see, you're not going to get, like, they've even, like, labeled the, like, label and everything, but this is, like, I've got the, well, it's not the original manufacturer's one, but I've got um, a third party, uh, one of the original BMW i3, I think it is, and it's, like, 700 pages long it's absolutely uh it's one of those munro ones um that they reverse engineer the whole thing i was going to do a video on that but i never got around to it i've still got the pdfs for that and they're incredibly detailed third party they actually reversed engineered the bmw i3 and it was absolutely incredible um that's uh sandy munro who's you know famous and he's done videos with uh, musk um as well he's got his own youtube channel so shout out to sandy um great uh, videos by the way so it's all there right and like it's nice but like what's inside <laughs> you just don't know right it's just a mod at, at the module level anyway the roadster circuit diagrams do we actually get the circuit diagrams let's go for the latest the 2010 no let's go for the older one okay left hand drive and right hand drive as well roadster circuits do we get the schematics left hand drive power distribution abs and vacuum pumps audio system can bus Diagnostic, whoa, high voltage, 400 volts. Let's go into there, whoa, look at this. That, that doesn't zoom in, no, it doesn't zoom in, okay. They're not schematics. Well, they're wiring harnesses, basically. You know, it's like, it's a modular block diagram, really. So, you know, y yeah, yellow cable goes here, but to me, that's not circuits, right? <laughs> to an electronics engineer, that's not circuits, I want actual schematics with <laughs> components to board level stuff so no it looks like I, I i think all the others i reckon all the others are going to be the same yeah like can bus right yeah it goes to the hvac it goes to the touch screen it goes to the battery right yeah okay the can bus goes throughout the car that's great you know and it's they're probably all color coded and stuff and whatnot fantastic but no it's not really circuits so i'm nope nope Nope, that's a thumbs down, but, you know, better than nothing at all. Hey, hats off. Fantastic that they're releasing all this information for owners to, like, service their own roadster. Absolutely fantastic. And 2010 is going to be exactly the same thing, I'm sure. So drive control. No, no, we're get. Oh, hang on. Can we? Oh, something. Look, I can click on that. Not found. But I can't click on the module, right? So this is the motor, the motor monitor board. That'd be interesting, right? And that goes off to the motor over here, right? <laughs> I really desperately want to see the schematic for that. But no, no, like we're not going to get the schematics. So no, wah, 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 wah. But 
I, I didn't really expect it. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> So yeah, uh, typical maskers that, oh, we've released everything. Everything we have, you have. No, that's not, that's not actually the case. It doesn't look to be anyway. Theory of operation, the charging system, system view. Well, there you go, power electronics module. Once again, like this is great high level stuff. This is like absolutely brilliant, but it's not, it's not anything lower than that, unfortunately. Right, so. Yeah, no, this is absolutely fantastic, higher level technical information, but it's not what we were really after, is it? <laughs> so, well, us electronics engineers anyway. So, but, you know, I, I seriously, I did not expect <laughs> to get the schematic for the motor drive circuit, for example. Anyway, look at this research and development. What is this battery monitoring board here? Oh, it downloaded. Oh, download to zip. Okay, battery monitoring board. Here we go. Fab files. Wow, hang on, hang on. What do we, what's an IPC? What's an IPC thing? Does anyone know? Is it like a CAD file? Assembly files. Ah, here we go. Schematic. There you go. There you go. Well, it looks like we have an Altium because uh, Vincent Himpy, who's um, uh, been on the uh, uh, show before, he's been on the uh, Amp Hour. He was the head PCB designer at uh, Tesla. He's no longer there, but um, maybe he did this. He's got a name. Nope. <laughs> Here you go. I, do, do, do we do actually have, but this is, you got to remember, this is the original research stuff. This is not the production vehicle. Remember, we couldn't find the schematics for the production vehicle. But here's the battery monitor board for the original R&D. So how close this is to the, you know, it's got confidential on there. So they, hats off, they have actually released the schematic for the battery monitor board. That's, that's pretty groovy. But we haven't found the actual um, thing for, yeah. You know, oh, PIC, PIC, 18F, 18F, 8585. The PIC fanboys go wild, there you go. But that is pretty groovy, but yeah, I'll give them. I'll give them a thumbs up for that, right? Even though it is the original, uh, it's not production, but geez, that's all right. Assembly drawing, there you go. Assembly, that's their, um, the, you know, uh, assembly, like for the actual assembly of the board, solder paste and stuff like that. Nice, pick and place. They got their pick and place files. There you go. <laughs> That's terrific. But yeah, it isn't manufacturer reference or repair and maintenance material may not accurately reflect actual production models or parts sold. So yeah, if you use this information, it's your responsibility to ensure you follow the laws and safety protocols, blah, 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 blah. Okay, but yeah, um, diagnostic software and the like in the vehicle display system as well. Vehicle display system, PCB. So assembly drawing, conformal coat. So that's pretty groovy. But you know, you got to, like it's probably going to be reasonably close to the production version because how many roadsters did they make? They didn't make them in the, you know, you know, tens of thousands, did they? Um, or hundreds of thousands. It was, you know, it's, it was their initial uh, product and it was quite low volume stuff. So yeah, I, it's probably still reasonable. Schematic for the display system, VDS memory, microcontroller, and LH75401 MCU. And the memory, uh, yeah, it's part of the MCU as well. They've got the split up over multiple components, which is quite common. Yeah, there it is as well. So that's that's legit stuff down there. I mean, that's not everything. We've just got battery monitoring board and vehicle display systems and diagnostic software and HVAC controller. That's obviously not... You know, you can't build a car with that. But yeah, the, the circuits thing is the one that I'm a bit disappointed in because, yeah, you just don't get what I wanted. I mean, it's good, top level information, but unfortunately it's, oh, oh, there we look. Oh, we almost, we almost got <laughs> to a schematic, yeah, to an actual component level there, but not quite. Like some things are clickable in here. Like I can click on that but it just goes nowhere. So yeah, but like we can't click on a block and actually get schematics for the block. So unfortunately, yeah, thumbs down to the circuits there. Maybe it'll come later, but I doubt it. And you know, theory of operation, the power electronics module, that's the one that we really wanted the uh, schematic of and stuff. Unfortunately, you know, it's got specs and stuff. This is really quite good. Did, was this of info available? before? I don't know. Please leave it in the comments down below if you know it was, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, yeah, d description, that's just all the one, it's all the one page, really. So those links just go to the one page there. Unfortunately, there's no further 
information. Uh, that's a bit, you don't expect it. That's, um, you know, theory of operation. So that's all right. Pretty good. Nobody does theory of operation anymore. When I was a boy, when you wrote your, when you designed your project, when you published it, you published a theory of operation. Nobody does it anymore. So yeah, kind of like classic Musk are there, sort of like over promises and a little bit under delivers there, but I, I, I did not expect it. If anyone expected absolutely everything, all their production information, you could just go, oh, boom. If you had the money, you could just start up the Roadster production line again. Yeah, nah, that was never, <laughs> that was never going to happen. But uh, seriously, I, congratulations and hats off to anyone um, who releases anything open source. This is why I'll link in my video of the open source, har my version of the open source hardware logo that lets you release as much as you want. Like, you know, if you just want to release a schematic, fine. Okay. If you just want to release a, a, a PCB uh, overlay or whatever, fine. If you don't want to re release your actual production files, that's fine too. Just tell everyone what you're actually re releasing. And I fully support releasing just anything. But there's the open source purists out there who go, oh, that's not open source because you didn't release absolutely everything and I can't make this absolutely from scratch turnkey. It's like, yeah, no, the real world doesn't work like that, unfortunately, which is why I did my open source hardware um, letter symbol thing. So anyway, there you have it. There's a quick look. Please leave it in the comments down below if I have actually missed anything. But yeah, we don't seem to get the, get circuits for some old research stuff, but not for you know, like the battery drive and stuff like that. You just get like modular stuff, but just having the whole service manual there, you know, you, you got to give them a thumbs up for, for actually doing this. I mean, what, what other company would have done this? Uh, you know, no one. Anyway, that's cool, huh? I'll link in down below where you can check out this uh, service manual and theory of operation and circuits <laughs> for yourself. Um, and uh, please leave it in the comments down below if you found any real gems. So hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. As always, discuss down below. Catch you next time.